Happening today, a controversial sterilization plan in Newton County resumes operations. Becton Dickinson has been closed for the last week through an agreement with state regulators. Our Rebecca Schramm is live in Covington outside the VD plant. And Rebecca, it's not exactly back to normal for folks at that plant, right? Not exactly, Karen and Gravier. Good morning to you. I want to show you because we're seeing a few trucks come and go, also seeing employees arriving for their shifts here at the BD plant. A representative telling us that as they get back to work today, the facility here will be working at a reduced capacity, but that is not the only thing they agreed to do. Remember, last month after air sampling showed pockets of high levels of the cancer-causing gas ethylene oxide in the air, the state took BD to court to try to get a judge to force the plant to cease operations temporarily. But the two sides ended up signing an agreement. Part of the reason for taking a week off was to allow the state to do air sampling when the facility is not operating so they can get sort of a baseline. When BD reopens today, besides the Covington facility agreeing to operate at a reduced capacity, BD also agreed not to expand production at its facility in Madison. And it also agreed to make some modifications to its emissions controls. Still, for some, the agreement is not enough. Don't take this wrong. I don't want to put anybody out of a job, but as far as I'm concerned, if they are poisoning my health, my children, my grandchildren and great grandbabies, shut them down permanently. Nearby residents like Frida Pitts there will no doubt continue to put pressure on the city and the state to hold this company accountable moving forward. Of course, with BD being one of the largest employers in Covington, some in this community just glad to get back to work. We're live in Newton County this morning. Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.